football season. Get on board with that. Yeah. Is that going to be consistent or you can change it up each week? Each week? Uh, I might try it every time. All right. Uh, it is 10 days to NFL football. College football is obviously upon us, even though it Jim is. doesn't uh, recognize week zero. No. But we're going to talk about the games in week zero, uh, more specifically a couple games. Ugh. First, starting out, the don't bury the lead. Northwestern takes Nebraska and puts them into the potato patch in Dublin, Ireland, winning 31 to 28. Uh, Nebraska was up 28 to 17 in the second half of this game and actually blew two double digit leads yep. um, up 28 to 17. Scott Frost decides to go for an onside kick. Yeah. Were you watching this game, Jim? Cause I, we were at the golf. No, end, so. I was not. And I, I, because I didn't really remember it was week zero. It wasn't till late in the day where I was like college football shit. And that's when I was like, what did Scott Frost do? Oh no. And that's why I was like, this is dumb. He, after the game, uh, ripped the offensive line again because that was the problem. Mm -hmm. Not his coaching. You're right. <laughs> Not that they blew two double-digit leads, which would lead to you know a defensive issue, or you went for an outside kick up two scores. Not a defense. Not an offensive line issue. Yeah. But here we are. Uh, yeah. Jim, Moron. would you like to reassess your Nebraska prediction. Oh, they won't make it. It mm, not going to be good. Not gonna, he's going to screw it up. I don't know that he'll last the whole season. There's already some some rumblings in yeah. Lincoln about him. Uh, in other Big Ten action, Illinois beats Wyoming thirty-eight to six. I did car catch part of this game. That running back for Illinois is going to give defenses some nightmares. I am worried about that that running back. Okay. Yeah. I think you were right when you said last week, like, they're going to catch a team. I I mean, they did last year with Penn State. Penn State played down to their competition and lost. So, I think Illinois got one in them. Uh, maybe two after watching that game. Uh, the University of North Carolina rolls over Florida, Florida A&M 56-24. Mm -hmm. Interesting side story about this game. Florida A&M. Went into this week with 20 ineligible players due to academics and transfer issues. Uh, head coach Willie Simmons left it up to players if they wanted to play. Obviously, they took advantage of this opportunity. They only traveled with seven by position offensive linemen. Good grief. That's, that, you don't got much left there. Uh, mm. But on a positive note, the team did receive 450 grand to play the game. Get that paper. Get that paper. Florida State in games of teams that definitely got money to play against them. Florida State over the Dukes of Duquesne, 47-7. Okay. Western Kentucky over Austin P, 38-27. Starting to see why week zero sucks. Keep going. UNLV over Idaho State, 52-21. to Okay. Again, week zero sucks. Utah State over Connecticut, 31-20. to Continue. Florida Atlantic over Charlotte, 43-13. to Okay. Nevada over New Mexico State, 23 to 12. Okay. North Texas over the University of Texas, El Paso, 31 to 13. Okay. And in the nightcap, the game at 1030, which is the only game I saw any of yesterday, Vanderbilt rolls over Hawaii, 63 to 10. I watched part of this game because I was up late. Did Hawaii suck that bad or is Vandy like an okay team. Uh, I don't. I'm not going to say that Vanderbilt's okay by SEC standards, but Vanderbilt's probably okay by non-power five standards. Right. Okay. That that's what I needed to know. Yeah. yeah. Alex did tell us that he had some bets over the weekend, none of which I think did well. Uh, I think Alex had Nebraska to cover, which didn't work out. Uh, and I tried to give Alex a tidbit of betting information. I was not necessarily tipping the pick, but uh, Hawaii was over the past 13 se seasons, excluding Saturday, uh, was 11 and two against the spread. Um, Hawaii did not cover with their plus eight and a half in this game. Say lovey. Okay. Keith, you're a, you're a, a fellow. You're like the, mm, the health. 
health, uh, what do we call you, healthcare professional degenerate? Yeah, I suppose. I, I don't know if those two terms should go together, but yes, right. I'm in the healthcare field. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe just the healthcare degenerate, not the healthcare professional degenerate. I see what you're getting at. I don't like it, but I'll accept it. <laughs> <laughs> did you have any bets this weekend? I did not. I, I, I said I'm staying away from week zero. I did not from week zero. I uh, I am keeping it simple for right now. We're going to get a gauge to see where everyone is uh, come week one, officially week one, and we'll go from there. But I am looking forward to it. I have a little bit of coin saved up, and we'll be making some some bets here and there as the season progresses. Excellent, excellent. Keith, Keith could be a, a guest on the, the betting show at some point, maybe. I, yeah, I do have a few futures out NFL, but we'll get to that later. Okay, uh, which does bring us to week one. And yeah, a, a quick, quick preview. Jim probably has. Well, Alex would have had probably the best preview um, for West Virginia this week. So uh, we'll try. We'll try for Alex. The return of the backyard <laughs> brawl this Thursday. Thursday Let's night. Let's go, Pitt. Let's go, Pitt. <sighs> Alex is not here to defend himself, Jim. Yep. That's, I don't know if that's fair. Um, West Virginia is taking on Pittsburgh. I believe this game is Keith. Is it at Akersher Stadium? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. Okay. Well, that's what, I will be Alex saying that I will get on the Google machine. Get on the Google machine. So what is this, the first time in? It is at Pitt. Five or six years, Keith? Does that sound about right? I actually think it's probably longer than that yeah i think so yeah right. so uh a a great rivalry back back so that's that's nice in week one mm-hmm. um it's a good headline for thursday night um penn state also plays purdue on thursday night which is the same night as the sports stuff with jim fantasy football draft mm-hmm. um unfortunate for people that you know don't want to participate want to watch two bullshit games <laughs> Like, are you saying Pitt's going to steamroll West Virginia at this yes. point, Jim? Is that what you're getting at? Yes. What are you? What are you saying about the Penn State game, Jim? Penn State's going to romp Purdue. I hope so. Romp. <laughs> I hope so. And Jim, I will let you preview your game on Saturday night. Ohio State's going to going to beat Notre Dame. I think it's going to be a quick. It's going to be a, a couple big blows in the beginning. It's going to be a tough first quarter. And then eventually all those weapons for Ohio State will take over in the second half. All right. Is that that's pretty typical though? Based on our discussions of Ohio State, that's a typical game one though, right? Yes. Okay. So you're you're prepared for that. Yes. My so how, only... how upset will you be? Will you like throw things if things don't go well? Or are you just like, this is normal? This is normal. There, yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. If Notre Dame pulls it out. Columbus will riot, and they will call for Ryan Day's head. Will they denounce Catholicism? <laughs> Ohio is a funny state. I don't think that's. <laughs> I don't think that's a thing we should get into today. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Odd state wraps up week zero college roundup. Any other closing thoughts on the college football games from this past weekend? I will steed in uh, alex's absence and uh say go west virginia and neil brown there we go what's west virginia's chant in this game each hit pit what's, yeah each hit pit, does pit doesn't pit. have one do they like, no because they're not degenerates and they're beat. not like <laughs> beat the mountaineers <laughs> wow i'm sure there's a west virginia joke somewhere in there to be made but jim's yeah. jim's just bashing of an entire state he's, he's gone out of, out of morgantown now it's the whole state <laughs> yeah i mean yes. they are the premier uh college football team in the area there's a few others but don't forget about marshall marshall's the like the football team in west virginia in my opinion oh the, what randy moss yeah. doesn't play there anymore you know that right <laughs> i think marshall is the team Wow. Uh, any reasoning or logic? I'm I'm kind of curious now. I hate WVU. <laughs> Fair enough. So Huntington yeah. is greater than Morgantown. That's what I'm hearing. Yep. I can't yeah. argue with that logic. <laughs> Keith, you live inside of Morgantown. <laughs> <laughs> I was always told never argue with a crazy band. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't your wife go to school there? 
She did. Uh, so, <laughs> Jim. Uh? <laughs> so it's funny enough. Uh, she was actually in side story. Getting a little off topic here, but uh, in uh, the I think it was the seventy to sixty three game when they played against Baylor. There is a big uh, bowl shot from up above in the stadium. And if you look really close, there's a group of her and her friends, and she's the only person not watching the game. She's facing the camera, and her face is clearly visible. That's awesome. <laughs> but uh, her image is immortalized in that picture. But That's uh, great. <laughs> not paying attention to the game whatsoever. You have that picture in your house, don't you? We do, yes. yes I thought so. <laughs>